Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a shoe haul for you guys. It's men and women's shoes. And these are things that I found at the, um, the bins outlet and also the regular retail Goodwills. And so let's just hop right into it. So the first thing I found was these red wings, men's red wings. They are really excellent, like new condition. And they're leather. The boots sell for more, but these are probably a solid 75, I would say. And they are size, oh goodness, I'm not seeing a size. They look like about a size 13 to me. Let's see, I'm a full-time reseller on Posh and eBay. I've been selling since late 1998, um, back when Amazon was the eBay. It was just um, bidding on things. Have to look more into those. So that's what those look like. Put them to the side. Next are a pair of men's Allen Edmonds. I love picking these up. They retail for a few hundred dollars. Cap toe, genuine leather. And I just recently found out that the newer ones have a black tag there, but the older vintage ones have a, that little tag in there is green. So if you come across the green tag, it's vintage and the black, it's not. So these are size 11 and a half. Beautiful, oh, gorgeous shoes. And oops, I'll show you the bottoms. Still learning here. All right. Next, we have some Nike Air Force Ones that are always a favorite. They're men's 11s, because I got excited. I'm a size 11, I thought they were women's, but they are very, very big. Again, a beautiful shape, beautiful shape. I think they're, um, they call them dunks. So men's size 11, white Air Force One Nike dunks. Okay, trying to do the men's first. Maurice's by JC Studio. This is a new to me brand. I just found these a couple nights ago. Beautiful, genuine leather, navy and white. And they are size 47, which is a size USA size 14. And that's what those look like. Okay. All right. And then we have some men's size nine L.L. Bean Bean Boots Winter. They're the non-insulated ones, but they you could buy the insulations if you wanted to turn them into the insulation ones. Size 9, L.L. Bean Bean Boots. And size 9 men's is a women's 10 and a half to 11. So if you do find um, a pair of men's shoes that you absolutely love, um, they're a size and a half to two sizes smaller than your size. Okay, hope that made sense. Next is a pair of Toms. I generally don't pick up Toms, but these were too cute to pass up. Wedges, boots, and about a three inch wedge. Size eight and a half. That's what those look like. Okay. Oops, forgot another men's. Men's Nike Prime Blue, nope. Not Nike, Adidas. Adidas, prime blue, beautiful, excellent condition. That's what those look like, and they are a size, where are you size? There we go. They are a size 13 men's. This would be 14 and a half, 15 women's. And that's what those look like. All right. Okay. All right, next, they're all women's. Okay, so we got some morels, and they are size seven. Again, wedges, they sort of remind me of the Toms, genuine leather. Morels are supposed to be very good for your feet, or uh, orthopedic, much like Vionic. They are genuine leather. They are in lovely shape. Size seven. Okay. Next, we've got some Banana Republic. Just basic, very well made. There, the nails are hammered in. 
They look like they were never worn. These are size 10 women's. You could feel the quality of those. Banana Republic. And when you pick up things like this, you wanna make sure that this little piece of the buckle's not missing, because I've brought them before. Even though I've been selling for so many years, I still, in the heat of the moment, get excited, and I don't overlook things the way that I should. Um, maybe about once a month, I'll buy something that I didn't see a stain on it, or a little hole, or something like that. Okay, these are Elite by Corky's. Very artsy, colorful slides, genuine leather, retail for over $100. Very cute. And they are size eight, and they're in the garden pattern. Just to show you what that looks like, you could find, and you wanna put that in the title, garden. So you would put the brand, Elite by Corky's, garden, slides, size eight and like keywords colorful artistic artsy even some boho vibes all right next we have some aerosols very pretty keeping up with that floral theme and they are stitch and tram aerosols in a size eight and a half i love aerosols i remember them way back when they're very foamy and comfortable and they don't give you a um a blister the backs of those again like new i don't even know that these were ever worn and that's what those look like next we have some alex and marie they do i think bridal and gowns because i've picked up their gowns before patent leather one inch platform and that's what those look like and these are a size, can I find a size? Eight. Eight is supposedly the most popular size for a woman as far as shoes go. I just recently learned that from a different YouTube video. Um, as well as size for women, the average size is like a 14, 16 with a size eight shoe. Next we have JBU Comfort Foam by Gem Boo. Another comfort shoe, gray. Velcro loop, very comfortable if you're gonna be on your feet for a long time. They do have good moderate um, arch support, like a Vionic, but it's padded. And that's what those look like. And did I say the size of these? Let's see. Oh, here we go. And the size is nine wide, nine wide. And that's what those look like. Okay, next is a pair of fanfares. You probably have to be around my age to remember these. I remember buying these, I think like at Fava or something when I was in high school. Not these particular ones, but they are made in Brazil. Back then when you could go to like a Payless and find genuine leather, they're size 10 medium. They're in the Boast um, Cuban cone type heel, two inches, cut out peep toe. Genuine leather, like a burgundy red, which is just striking. And that's very, very well made. Excellent condition for the age. Probably only had one or two different home, one home I would say. And we've got some birdies. First time ever finding birdies. Um, popular like Teaks and Rothy's, but they've like a slipper shoe made to be worn outside. It's quilted, it's satin, and it is real calf hair. Every time you pick up calf hair, you have to make sure that there's no bald spots. I, these do have some bald spots because originally I was thinking I would, I would keep them myself, but I just don't need them. I, I like them, and if they don't sell, I probably will keep them for myself, but they have a little balding here. But because they retail, I think, for like 140, I could probably still get 40 for them because when you're walking, it's down there, it's not really gonna show anyways. And the toes are excellent. And it's just a way, a good way to try it and not invest so much money. Size 11. And that's what those look like and that's it for shoes today i did pick up a pocketbook i got a couple bras so since the video is less than 10 minutes i will show you those so this is a made in mexico chocolate brown crossbody fringe southwestern country style bag boho oh it's just beautiful well you can't really see i have to really go back i'm five seven so i mean it's adjustable 
and that's what that looks like. It's uh, probably about 11 by 12 in size. Excellent inside, clean, says genuine leather made in Mexico. And I picked that up. Okay. And then I picked up that same day two pairs of vintage leg warmers. Anybody remember those from the 80s? Leotard's leg warmers, Olivia Newton John type of deal. They're great. If they weren't new with tags, I'd probably want to keep them myself. <laughs> the last from the past, two pair. Okay, bras. We have a Victoria's Secret hot pink uh, bra that could be worn racerback or standard. It looks brand new. It doesn't even look like it was been worn, has been worn. Victoria's Secret. Regular Victoria's Secret does a lot better than Victoria's Secret Pink, so keep that in mind. This is their push-up, size 40, double D. Lightly padded, and that's what that looks like. Beautiful for Valentine's Day. And let's see, the next one is by Elomi, and it's a 34J, 34J. And that's what that looks like. Elomi makes excellent, really, really good, um, bras that retail I think for around 68. I sell my bras for about 20, 25. And this gives a very high lift without the added bulk of uh, padding. Okay, and lastly, I picked up, and I probably shouldn't have, but it was a strapless Torrid bra. Strapless, um, it probably originally came, from, came with straps, but someone didn't maybe donate the straps. But any straps that you have um, from a con any convertible bra would do. So, and you could even get them on Amazon. Size 46 double D Torrid. That's what that looks like. And that is it for today's haul. Thank you for watching. Um, again, I'm a full-time uh, reseller on Poshmark and eBay. My username is mcware for you. My name is Michelle, and I appreciate you so much. Thanks.